show you today how to add the Grammarly extension to your Chromebook. We're going to be adding this because it's going to help you with editing all of your reflections and written material that you're going to be adding to your websites. So the first thing you're going to do is pull up a new tab and go ahead and search Grammarly for Chrome. And you want to go to the one that's at the Chrome Web Store. So go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to bring that up and there's going to be a little button here that says Add to Chrome. So go ahead and click on that. Hit Add Extension. And now it's been downloaded and it shows that it's been added to Chrome. Now it's going to bring me to another window. And you're typically going to go through a group of questions. I'm already logged in and it remembers me. So it's going to lead you through a group of questions. Make sure that you choose the free version of Grammarly. Once Grammarly is installed, you want to go ahead and open it up. And then I'm going to show you really quick how we're going to use it. You're going to be doing most of your reflections in Google Docs. So what we're going to do in Grammarly is we're going to add a new, open a new document. And then I'm just going to go to this reflection and just take a section of it. I think this one's already been corrected. Let me actually, I'm going to change a couple things. I'm going to misspell a couple things really quick because I know this one's already been corrected. And copy it and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it here into Grammarly. And then you're going to see that it's going to have your corrections there. When you first paste into Grammarly, it may ask you another series of questions. And so you can go ahead and answer those. But what you're going to do is once you copy and paste this in, you're going to have your different things that need to be corrected. So right now it's showing me that this is underlined in red. So I'm going to go ahead and click to correct that. Now it's going to take me to the next correction. And click on that. And then it's going to give me another suggestion to spell repetition. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now it's going to bring up this premium alert, go to premium, just ignore that. So once you've done that, all your piece is all corrected. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this back into here and paste it back in. And now it's been corrected. So now you know that you have it all corrected, you can go ahead and you can copy and paste it into your website. I'm going to do a separate screencast to show you guys how to build your website. So go ahead and follow me over to the other screencast if you need to learn how to build your website.